Photoshop is the world's premier photo editing and compositing software and has recently celebrated its 30th birthday. Now, this last year has been a period of huge surprises, some setbacks and some triumphs in the world of tech. And in this video, we're going to take a look at what all these developments mean for someone looking to build a new PC for Photoshop this year. First of all, a bit of background. Just over a year ago, AMD came out with the world's fastest and most powerful CPUs. That was followed by Apple the following month coming out with the M1 chip, which immediately took the crown for the fastest single core performance. Apple then beat Apple this year with the even faster M1 Pro and M1 Max chips. Finally, last month, a year after the M1 chip, Intel came out with the 12th generation Older Lake processors, which today take the crown for the fastest CPUs out there. But for our recommended Photoshop build, we start with two CPUs from AMD that came out in August this year, the Ryzen 7 5700G and the Ryzen 5 5600G. These CPUs or APUs as AMD calls them, have some of the most powerful onboard graphics that I've ever seen in any CPU. The Ryzen 7 5700G is powerful enough that it can handle most Photoshop tasks with ease and as I discussed in this video, does Photoshop even need a graphics card in 2021? It can provide much of the functionality that you would expect from a dedicated graphics card, thereby potentially saving you a hundred or a couple of hundred dollars. The less powerful Ryzen 5 5600G is less powerful but also significantly less expensive and would be an ideal basis for an entry-level Photoshop build. I have a video actually comparing the performance of these and I will link to that in the description. You would want to pair these with a PCIe Generation 3 NVMe drive to make the Windows operating system run as snappily as possible. The direct competitor to the Ryzen 7 5700G is the Intel Core i7 12700K. This is a significantly faster and more powerful CPU than the AMD counterpart, but its graphics are just okay. They're not quite up to Photoshop requirements in my view. Therefore, I would recommend a discrete graphics card with this, perhaps a decent Radeon Pro or Nvidia Quadro card. These professional level cards support the professional Radeon Pro and Nvidia Quadro drivers and are ideal for use with a high-end professional monitor, something like a Dell UltraSharp or Azo Color Edge monitor. You could also pair these with a gaming graphics card, something like the NVIDIA GTX 1650 or the NVIDIA RTX 2060. Both would be considerably more powerful than the onboard graphics in the AMD Ryzen APUs that we discussed earlier. But they are probably overkill for Photoshop alone. And really, this is where the setbacks come into play. At current prices, heavily influenced by huge demand for cryptocurrency mining, these cards are selling way above their recommended retail price. Otherwise, they would be an easy recommend for someone wanting a souped up photo or video editing PC. The Intel lineup also has two other CPUs you should consider, the Core i5-12600K, which competes with the Ryzen 5 5600G, and the Core i9-12900K, which is probably the most powerful CPU in the Intel desktop lineup right now. Prices vary, of course, with performance. These all have onboard graphics guides, but for even faster performance, consider their KF variants, which do not have onboard graphics, but which are geared towards slightly better performance. 
Now all of these Intel chips could be paired with a PCIe Gen 3 or PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drive for a lightning fast operating system. Consider also that whilst the AMD APUs are stuck at PCIe Gen 3 speeds, the Intel chips are actually capable of supporting the latest PCIe Gen 5 storage, which would mean beastly performance, four times faster than the AMD APUs. That's when these Generation 5 NV NVMe drives finally hit the market. They're not generally available yet. For more information on the Ryzen APUs, see the videos listed in the description. And for information on how to accelerate Photoshop's performance, subscribe and stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video.